Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. She was born to the name Isabel Flores de Oliva to a wealthy family in Peru of 1586. She later picked up the nickname Rose after a servant thought they saw her face transform into a beautiful rose for just a moment. She was a true beauty to behold, and she only grew in grace throughout her life. Not only was Rose a beautiful young girl, but also very pious. From an early age, she began intensely fasting and welcomed severe penances in secret to humble herself and keep her eyes fixed on Christ. In one instance, she was called out for her beauty and in shame, she chopped off her hair and rubbed pepper on her face to ruin her complexion. Her parents tried desperately to find her a suitor that she would accept, but Rose refused anyone who desired her hand in marriage. She wanted nothing more than to take a vow of chastity, even if it were against her parents' wishes. Rose desired to become a nun and enter the religious life, but her parents were still adamant about her getting married. Finally, after so much frustration, her parents compromised and allowed her to have her own room in the house to prolong the engagement. Rose would sell her fine embroidery and home-grown bouquets to earn money for her family, as well as support the sick and poor around her. She was able to receive the Blessed Sacrament daily, something that was very rare at the time and would eventually only leave her house to pray and attend Mass. Because her father still forbade her from entering religious life, Rose became a tertiary or a lay member of a Dominican order. She wasn't required to live in a religious community, but still was granted the religious habits that allowed her to participate in the good works of the order. Rose would only sleep for two hours each night so that she would have more time devoted to prayer and suffered from various physical and mental ailments throughout her life. She also continued to practice her habits of fasting and even went as far as making a silver crown with small spikes on the inside to wear her own crown of thorns and remind herself of Christ's suffering. To many individuals, it would seem that she was simply throwing away the life she could have had. She could have had anything she desired for how beautiful she was. But what Rose experienced was pure ecstasy through her devotion and relationship with God. She loved her life and didn't desire to flaunt her natural beauty for her own benefits. We can easily get stuck on outward appearances and sometimes forget that what truly matters is what's inside. Christ wants a relationship with us and not just one that we put on for Sundays at Mass for an hour. He wants us to go to drastic measures and experience the power of His love. I'm in no way suggesting to rub pepper on your face, but I am suggesting that we each find our own small, beautiful ways to grow closer in relationship with Christ. St. Rose of Lima, patron saint against vanity, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.